I still need to recover from another lover Would you be here for me? Never met your parents, not even your mother But let's see where this leads What should we do tonight? What if this breaks your little heart in my life? Good morning. Oh, you're naked. <laughs> Good morning vlog and welcome back to another Florida couple days in my life. We'll see what I title this, but this is going to be the second Florida vlog. I'm here. Last night's vlog ended kind of abruptly, but Gabby and Justin left. I have like weird sun lines. Ignore that. Sean and I are getting ready and we're going to go to Waffle House for breakfast and then we might come back hang up the gallery wall, do a couple things around the house, and then we'll see what we get up to from there. But, hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs so far. And if you're not already, please subscribe, stay a while, it's a fun time, and let's see what we get up to. Waffle House, baby. <laughs> Dude, like I have tears in my eyes. <laughs> Stop. Just find a pretty blue jeans and me Running through Evergreen pretty First bite of gator Does it taste like chicken? Tastes like chicken Well, like a Like a muscly chicken like a beefy, like like muscle, uh, yeah, like or like muscle, muscle like, as in like the sea creature. Like tough chicken. Oh, game, gamey chicken. Interesting. Gamey chicken. Is it good? Do you like it? It's not bad. The sauce is good. If if I didn't have the sauce, it, it would just taste like gamey fried chicken. Interesting. Okay, so here's our little apartment tour so far. You can guess who picked that out. <laughs> it was me. And then we have this cute little plant here. And then, disregard the mess here. I have to take that back, but here is the spare bathroom. Pretty much a navy and white theme. And then the spare bedroom. Alexa, guest bedroom on. And then the little TV right there. This is mainly used for storage. We have storage under the bed, storage in the closet, and it is very minimally decorated, but we are getting there. It's ready for guests, that's all that matters. Alexa, guest bedroom off. So here is the living room so far. We are so excited. Thank you Castlery for sponsoring this video. This dining table and chairs is literally the dining table of my dreams. It is gorgeous. I will have everything linked down below for you guys, of course. But dark wood chairs with a gray finish to match the gray couch and then the dark wood fireplace. But oh my gosh, I am obsessed. I'm so excited. It's so nice to have like a comfortable dining table to actually sit and you can watch TV from it. The quality of this dining table is incredible. First of all, the top is like a nice glass. And then we have the wood base, which I am obsessed with. Like, look at it from the bottom. And the chairs, I'll let Sean talk a little bit about the chairs, but they're made so well. So the chairs are nice and big. Um, you have really big, which is really comfortable. Yeah, because we originally went online, we thought they were going to be really small, but they're, they're on beautiful. the bigger side. They're very comfy. Mm -hmm. uh, the construction of the chairs is very, very nice quality. Crisscrossing uh, for more support. Um, Sean's a big quality guy. I just look at looks, but he understands when things are actually made nicely. <laughs> Best part about this, this stuff, it was, it all came assembled. So yes. except for the tabletop and the base, that was the only thing that came not assembled. And it was amazing because I didn't have to set up anything. I right. just took it out of the box. It was all delivered to the front door, ready to go. Yeah, it was Which great. Which is awesome. So we love Castle Reed. They don't, they have all sorts of furniture, like bedroom, living room. They literally have everything, yeah. but 
We well, are had, so I happy had a with this. People come over and just like comment on the the glass, the white glass top. It's just different. It's different, and it looks so good with like the colors in the rug. I think. Mm -hmm. Like he said, it came all ready to go, except all he had to do was put the tabletop on top of the base, but we are so excited. Check out Castlery. Like I said, their furniture is stunning. I am just obsessed, and they have the most beautiful stuff on their website, so check them out. I'll have all the details right here as well as in the description box for this table, but I am obsessed, and I love it so, so much. And then coming over here, we have the gallery wall all hung up. Very exciting. The couch, ignore that. We will have an end table eventually. <laughs> it's actually in storage in Buffalo still. So when I move down, we'll have that. But the rug, and then looking this way, you have the TV and the fireplace slash entertainment center. And then inside those drawers is more storage. And right here, I'm envisioning an aesthetic little cat tower for Rita when the girls come down. So I have to look and get one of those, but that's where that's gonna go most likely. <laughs> the little grocery cart, because when you live on the 16th floor, you need some help with your groceries. <laughs> and then the master bedroom. So this is what it looks like. The view out here as well. And then for right now, we have the desktop computer right here. It's easy to just like go quickly use it and then like be done, but we're thinking of getting a desk somewhere, so stay tuned for that. And then there's some mess up there, so sorry about that. But in here is our closet, and then the master bathroom, which has really cute towels, but Sean's wearing one, and here's the other one. So those are normally hung up right there, but this is the jacuzzi tub. Again, a white and navy theme, but I love it. I love it so, so much. Let me show you guys the best part, which is outside. Sean's laying on the new lounger. So he got these bamboo, this like roll out privacy screen and cut them down so that it doesn't take away from the view and the lighting, but still gives us some privacy up here. And the new lounger. And then we got this plant yesterday. Sean named her Francesca. Francesca. Even though it is not a fern. But I love it right there. And then the fire pit and the chairs that kind of just function as a little table, but everything matches. And then you guys know the best part. Here's the view and the pool. And then at some point, our Italy and Savannah paintings from traveling are gonna go right here in the hallway. So that's pretty much the last thing we need to do. And then if we decide we want a little desk here for the computer, maybe we will, but we're pretty excited. Good morning. It is, what day is it? Tuesday morning. We are heading to the gym in the apartment and we're gonna get a little workout in and then come back, maybe get some breakfast. And then I think we're gonna read by the pool for a couple hours and then maybe go to Top Golf later. So we'll see. I was just scratching my neck. That's why it's super red. That's today's agenda. Happy Tuesday. Okay, we just showered, we were just hanging out. Now we're heading to Home Depot to pick up a laser level so we can finish stuff in the apartment and then going to Top Golf. Yeah, I figured. Uh, and then dinner, Taco Tuesday. I was I was doing all the measurements and whatnot with a measuring tape, but I figured it'd just it just be easier. It would have been messed up. <laughs> no, it wouldn't have been messed up. It just would have taken longer. Well, Top Golf is an hour and a half wait, supposedly, so that may be out. <laughs> We have dinner plans with some of Sean's coworkers at 4.30 and it's 2.30 right now. We have to pick up the laser level from Home Depot. If we don't end up doing anything, maybe we could swing over to Hobby Lobby and look around, but. We need a pillow for the patio. Yep, I made a list already. We need a pillow for the patio, maybe a desk if they have one. We need, there was something else. I wrote it down, but Top Golf may be out. Taco Tuesday. Brain freeze? <laughs> no, salt. No wind pipe. I got a sugar one with strawberry. He salt, got a salt with salt strawberry. Salt is sweet. It's so good. We've got some chips and salsa. And $2 tacos. 
doesn't taste like there's any tequila in here. No, it's good. I'm okay with it. Yeah, it tastes like just a slushy. It literally tastes like a smoothie. Alright, so we went to dinner, we're back home. Sean's putting away the groceries and cleaning the kitchen. Thank you for doing that. Of course. We got some sparkling water, some shrimp, some tortellini. I think that's it. Some shoes. <laughs> some dish detergent. Everything's done that we wanted to get done. And now we're gonna watch Yellowstone and relax on the couch and go to bed. What time is it? What time is it? 9.35. Oh, it feels like midnight. Yeah. Ready for bed. So we were laying out by the pool and then we laid out on the day bed and I was reading and now we're gonna go to the gym Gross <laughs> We're gonna go to the gym. I'm probably gonna do 12 3 30 since I can't do a strenuous workout still for my nose surgery But 12 3 30 will be perfect. We're doing legs. Maybe some abs for me. Sean's doing legs We're doing legs. crushing legs and then we're gonna come up here Relax a little bit and we have some shrimp to make for dinner. Although I'm still full from the chicken sandwiches that Sean made for lunch that were really good. Sure it's on backwards. Mine is or yours? Yours. Mine's not. Got yours it. isn't either. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the gym. I guess Sean wanted to wear a crop top. But I'm sweating from 12 30. It's so nice in here when nobody else is in here. Dude, look at that gut. <laughs> look at that gut. Walking through the neighborhood. Just took pictures in my January scrubs. We literally walked out of here. We're not walking through the neighborhood. We just walked <laughs> 10 feet out. Just to, to take, take some pictures, pictures and walk back in. But it's nice out. My hip hurts. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, vlog. Sean has a question. So tonight we're making shrimp, breaded shrimp in the air fryer with Arby's curly fries, which the Arby's curly fries we will address in a second. But. Sean has a question for you guys because we genuinely don't know. We're new to getting into seafood and things like and that. Cooking it for sure. But who deveins their shrimp? Like we take we take the tails off and then the center vein, it says online, some plate some recipes say devein the shrimp. Some say it's not necessary. Some make it seem like it's the most important step in the world. Yeah. So we would just like to know. Yeah, it's like like the first one that we saw was the the most important step is deveining the shrimp. Yeah, so please and comment like, if you are an avid shrimp cooker because we're confused. Yeah, because it's, it's a like, tedious task. It's a lot of work. But look at these, you guys. RB seasoned curly fries. So we're gonna have these on the side with breadcrumb panko you know, panko, panko breadcrumb shrimp, basically. Yeah. And then what's the sauce? Uh, it's like a sweet chili sauce. Sweet chili sauce. Sean made us homemade painkillers. So it's creme de coconut, rum, pineapple juice, frozen pineapple chunks, orange juice, and nutmeg on top. Nutmeg on top. And Bacardi Anejo. That's the rum. That's how much we've drank so far today. Lovely. But I feel like we haven't gotten tipsy at all. No. Yum. Yum. There's more to come. 